Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to Will It Run? So today's request comes from Phil Hubs. Once again, he wants to know if Knights of the Round, the arcade version, will run on the classic system. So let's take a look. First thing you need to do is make sure that your system is hacked. I'll have a tutorial video in my description on how to do that. So after you've hacked your system, go to the Modules tab, then the Hackchi Mod Store. Go to the RetroArc tab, and download the newest version of RetroArch Neo. Just hit the download module button, it'll be added to your list in Hackchi. Then you're going to the RetroArch Cores tab. Scroll down to the MAME 2003 core. Once again, you're gonna hit the button right here that says download module. After that's done, close out the store. Go back up to your modules tab, install extra modules. In this list here, you're gonna put a check mark next to RetroArch if you haven't installed that already, and MAME 2003. Hit the OK button, a bar will appear on your screen and once it's filled up all the way, it means these cores were installed and they're ready to be used. Now we have to add our game. Just click the add more games button. You can navigate to the folder where your ROMs are. We're using the MAME 0.78 ROM set. The ROMs we're looking for right here, you have knights.zip, knightsj.zip, and knightsu.zip. Any three of these will work. We're gonna use knights.zip. Hit the open button and you'll be greeted with this file system. Make sure that you have all these files in your archive before continuing. Then hit the import as archive button. On this next screen, you can hit the show all button, click your Knights game, scroll down to MAME 2003. This makes it so it'll automatically change the command line for us and we don't have to manually do it later. After you select MAME 2003 under system, select it once more under core, hit apply. You'll see here it has it selected. Hit the close button, and you can see here it automatically changed the command line. We're gonna change our name real quick and get some box art. Last step is to hit the synchronize button right here to transfer the game from your system to your internal memory or internal SD card or the export games button to export it to a flash drive. And that's it. Let's head over to our system and see how Knights of the Round Arcade runs. Right, here we are, let's go. This game was ported over to the Super Nintendo. I used to play it a lot. I loved this game. I rented it a whole bunch. I didn't even know it was an arcade game until, I don't know, maybe 10 or so years ago. Really fun beat em up. There we go. All right, so you can see here, you got three people to pick from, and at first you may be like, oh, I can't switch between the guys when you hit left and right. You have to push the start button first, and now you can pick your person. That kind of scared me at first when I was testing this. But as you can see here, Lancelot is all about the speed. Arthur is middle ground, and then Percival is power heavy. I'm a Lancelot man myself. Village on fire. There's a wizard. I'm not sure if he's important or not. All right, so Lancelot is the fastest. We can jump, we can attack. And if you hit the jump and attack buttons, you got your special attack, which will take your life if you use it. So there's actually, gameplay wise, there's not much to this game. It's, it, there's a lot about points. Um, and there is an experience system. And you'll see that coming up soon. Um, but in terms of the actual gameplay, it's very generic. Jumping and attacking, that's really all you can do. I think Percival has a, uh, a dash as well. Because he's a little bit slower than the other two, so they gave him a dash, which is nice. Um, but you'll see here we have Sword Man. Remember the illustrious Sword Man? No? Okay. Oh, make sure you get that salad. Oh, it looks like Scorn is here. Oh, Scorn. You're no match for Lancelot's speed. Oh, but you can pull me from midair and attack me. Okay, maybe you are somewhat of a match for Lancelot's speed. Oh, did we get him? Lancelot has defeated Scorn. What is he doing? Nothing. So what are we getting for experience? Oh, level up. Nice. The more you level up, your actual appearance will change. Your sword gets bigger, your armor looks nicer. Don't forget Mask Man. Very memorable Mask Man. And Fat Man. Oh, he's not that fat. He's, he's you know, I don't know. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call him Fat Man. A steed with Buster F. Buster F, you don't deserve that fine animal. You see, now we just got a, a small level up. Our sword is a lot different, a little bit stronger. 
So that's it for Knights of the Round Arcade. Runs really good. MAME 2003. Make sure you get that MAME 0.78 ROM set. Huge thanks to Phil Hubs for that request. If there's any other games you would like to request me to try out on the system, feel free to fill out the request form in the description and I'll do my best to get them to run. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.